All right. So quasi static process. What is a quasi static process? It is very important related to your thermodynamics. And to understand about reversible processes, we need to understand about quasi static process first. And what is quasi static process? Quasi over here, this quasi term means almost. And static, you know. Okay, so it is almost static process. Okay, so how a process can be almost static? To understand that, let me go to this first diagram, this first figure over here. So over here, we are having some gas or liquid at a compressed state of P1, V1. Okay, gas is, suppose we have gas here at a state P1, V1, where pressure is high, volume is relatively less. And this is because of the application of load W. Because of the application of load W, we are having a low volume high pressure gas over here and this load can be removed if we remove this load what will happen if we remove this load then suppose the load we are having two stops here so the load is gone from the initial position to this position okay so if we since the load position, then what will happen? The pressure will be released somewhat and the gases now will attain a new state where the pressure is less and volume is more. So it will move from this position to this position. Okay. Over here we have pressure P2 and V2. So it's a normal process. What happened here? We have changed the state from P1 and P2 to P1 to P2 to V2. And these two points, 1 and 2, these are equilibrium points. So over here we are having only two equilibrium points. Okay? So it is normal. Now let me describe the same scenario in another figure in using another setup where we are having same amount of W with same condition. The gases are at same condition P1, V1. Now at, but the difference is that we have divided the single load w into num n number of small loads small w these are n number of small loads which each equal to small w okay so ultimately the total load is same but the uh, divisions are more here so instead of releasing the load at once we are going to load release the load in the second case one by one so if we remove this first load over here then what will happen it will move from this position to this position okay then we are going to remove the second load okay if we remove the one by one if we remove the second load then what will happen it will go to this position okay so if we go on like this if we remove the loads one by one now then what will happen instead of having two equilibrium points like the previous case now we are going to have n number of equilibrium points of our here. Okay, the difference is that in the previous case we, we are having only two equilibrium points, now we are having a number of equilibrium points. And if we increase the divisions and make it infinite, then what will happen? We will have infinite number of equilibrium points. A quasi-static process is a process which is having infinite number of equilibrium points. And for a process to be reversible, it is the Criteria. It is a criteria for a process to be reversible. Generally, in nature, the processes are not reversible. It is, those are irreversible processes. Okay? Because there are different kinds of losses are there, friction loss, heat loss, etc. are there. But for a process to be reversible, there must be infinite number of equilibrium points. That it becomes easier. Okay? Because by, it is difficult to jump, make a long jump instead of if we go one step by other all right so this type of processes where we are having infinite number of equilibrium points these are called quasi static processes and quasi static processes also a for criteria for reversible processes quasi static process you can say is a reversible process also both are very difficult to find in nature okay hope you have understand it